Stuart. Hey, Sheffy. Hey, hey, yeah, yeah, I'm here. Yeah. yeah, listen, I'm just trying yeah. I'm trying to check something technical on my side. I've been doing these uh, calls yeah. to some of my friends, and I've been using two phones. I'm on the camera, but the other people's on on voice. That would be somebody else, you know? So I'm I'm gonna call yeah. I'm gonna call Miss Foley in about an hour to get a, a sort of report from yeah. what's happening in the in the rural areas of Dubaza because he has some very interesting to say. So I just wanted to try just to yeah. talk to you and find out how the quality is or whatever have you. So if we can just riff for a second, where, where are you physically anyway? Oh no no I'm in Makanda in my, in, in I'm I'm in Makanda I'm not in Cape Town yeah. Ah okay now Makanda. Okay, for Makanda, for people who don't yeah. know, it has several it had several names. How, how has it changed throughout the years since you've been there? <laughs> Tell us that. Uh, yeah, no, it's it changed from Kremstown uh, uh, to to Makanda. Before, uh, I suppose before colonization, it was known as Khini. Uh, well, hold on, hold on a second. Be, 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 uh, hold on, hold on a second. Said, before colonization, it was called by 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 the autochthonous people, by the yeah. people who lived there. It was called what? Ichni. Ichni. Just spell uh, it. Just spell it. Uh, and, oh man, you're breaking up. This is not good. Uh, you you're breaking up. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, let me let me see if I can find another spot. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, and now is it is it getting better? Yeah, that's 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 great. That's great. Yeah. Okay, so you were saying before okay. before colonization, uh, uh, well, uh, Makanda, who who used to be Grahamstown, was named what? Ichini. Let's, let's spell it. It was named Ichini. Let's spell it. I, I R H. I N I. Okay. All right. Yeah. What, does does it mean yeah. anything? Is, is it is it a closer name? What 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 language is it from? It's it's a it's a Corsa. It's a a, a, a lot of it's a Corsa draws from maybe a good uh, forty to sixty percent of the language draws from the Koi languages. Because the Koi and Amakosa, you know, live side by side and they may intermarry mm -hmm. and so on. So it could, uh, because it sounds like it has the origins in the Koi language. Uh, it, 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 a part of the explanation is that Khin is a place of reeds. So mm -hmm. there may have been reeds uh, here, you oh, know, along the river. Oh, uh, oh. Before that. Well, like reeds along the river. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 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 so the Koi, so the Koi is like the. Yeah. Yeah, those are the original people like with the little arrows that they run around and you know hunt people for for days or rather hunt animals for days is that the same people or that's the sun no that's the sun the oh. sun the whole way where, where where cattle had us they were not uh, hunter gatherers the hunter gatherers were the sun they, mm -hmm. they what what in the closer language they're called mm -hmm. uh, that's the sun mm -hmm. yeah they, they were and you find them You'd find even their language right across, even in Rwanda, there mm. is a Twa community. In the in the genocide, it was a, it was one community that was overlooked because they were a small minority, but they've been affected, and they're called Twa as well. The same, same basically mm. the same uh, noun as as uh, here in Southern Africa. Yeah. Okay, so 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 then that, then the, uh, uh, colonialism came, and and who settled that area? Why is it called Grahamstown? Why was why was it called Grahamstown? No, it was the British, the British settlers, oh, the 1820 British. settlers. Mm -hmm. They arrived here yeah, in 1820 was a marker, you know, a serious uh, uh, kind of uh, encroachment of a, of a large batches of uh, of British settlers. Mm -hmm. And I understand they got recruited because they uh, uh, were promised, you know, prospects of huge chunks of land. And uh, it would be interesting to look at the advertisement uh, for, you know, to attract them from mm. uh, back in England those days. But anyway, they came in droves and then they, uh, as soon as they arrived, they, uh, this place was the headquarters uh, of the, the Amanjambe. And uh, there was a, amongst Amakos, a group called Amanjambe, and then uh, Chi, uh, King Jambe is, is said to have been buried where, the cathedral is where they built the the Anglican cathedral. Ah, okay. Uh, that that and under that cathedral is actually his grave. That's that's one 
uh, story in terms of oral uh, accounts of of the indigenous people. So, 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 so the Anglican. Uh, what you said, the Anglican. What is like the Anglican Church? What the Anglo? Um... Yeah, the cathedral, the tallest building in town. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, the cathedral. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay, okay, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. So yeah, hold, on, hold, on a second, hold on a second. So there, there, is, there is a tradition, at least among the Catholics, the Anglicans, I, I, I consider Anglicans you know, offshoot of the Catholics, that they would find a holy space and they would build their, their churches or the cathedrals over that particular holy space. Is that the case here? Yeah. Ah. It's highly, uh, it's highly likely, highly likely. Mm -hmm. And also, like, uh, it's, a, it's a marker of subjugation because if we build where your king is buried, you know, we like, we uh, basically okay. not only desegregate, uh, de desecrate mm -hmm. the, the, that holy space, but also uh, uh, consolidate our domination, you mm -hmm. know, of, of you. So if anybody even wanted to, to worship the, the king after the king is gone, or, or the respect respected king, they have, to go, they have to go through the cathedral, or go to the cathedral site to do it. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, basically, yeah, to impose impose uh, their own religion and, and their own institutions. Yeah. Okay. Then, then yeah. what? Then what happened? So yeah. Then what happened next? Then, then there were wars. Yeah, that were fought. The, the last uh, battles, a uh, series of battles. Uh, I think there were nine of those wars, mm -hmm. and uh, between the, the settlers and indigenous people and. Mm -hmm. The last one was in uh, in eighteen uh, let's say in, it was in eighteen twenty because now we are finishing uh, and that was the last one that subjugated because that that come um, all the way from seventeen hundred but the last one was in eighteen twenty then with the arrival of this uh, huge uh, uh, contingent of the British settlers then uh, there was a kennel of the uh, from the British side. He was a youngster, apparently, when he, he joined the colonial arm uh, of but, 90, but, yep. but ruthless, ruthless, mm. Colonel Graham. Uh, so he, so he, was, so was he, um, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So he, he, he held the rank of Colonel, and his name was Graham, Colonel Graham? Yeah, yeah Colonel Graham, yeah. Mm -hmm. So he led, he led uh, a lot of, and the British uh, adopted a Scotch F policy. So what they do, they, they would back the fields, or they, they, it was the fields, it was just before harvest time, when mm. people were ready to harvest, you know, mm. uh, for the, this, the, they would burn the fields completely, and then destroy the livestock, they killed men and women, you know, uh, and children, they mm. didn't uh, discriminate, whereas indigenous people had a code, a moral code, in terms of conducting the war, where the women and the children were spared, in fact, so much so, that there's a woman who successfully uh, carried a a dynamite on her back as if it was a child and crossed the lines uh, mm -hmm. to go and supply the British uh, who were, were held uh, uh, hostage, who were like uh, surrounded basically. Mm -hmm. And she she saved uh, the British uh, uh, colonial army uh, through uh, crossing the lines and exploiting this uh, moral kind of code amongst the indigenous people of St. Lockwood do not touch women, we do not touch children, we want to kill soldiers, men. Okay, and she I'm, crossed I'm, over the lines okay. and she went to deliver. So this, this woman, she, she was autochthonous, she was a indigenous woman of that area that the British had had do this, or how, how did this happen? No, 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 she was a, a, a settler woman. Oh, she, a, she a was a woman. Oh, she was a settler? Yeah, yeah. She yeah. was British, But okay. what had happened is that she was British, yeah. Mm. Is that then the British soldiers had been surrounded and they ran out of ammunition and so they were, they were held up in that area. They, they couldn't uh, get out of it because they, they, and in no time, you know, indigenous people would have known that they'd run out of ammunition and overpowered it because they'd surrounded them. They had no mm. way out. Mm. And then the British army then sent this woman and she carried the, as if she's carrying a baby on her back or something, mm -hmm. she carried the magazine, the, you know, whatever reinforcement that they needed. Mm -hmm. and, and using the fact that they should not be harmed mm -hmm. as she walked over to the, 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 the fort where the British were and then 
to supply them, and then that's how they manage to to uh, reinforce their supplies and and get out and mm. fight their way out. Well, it's interesting because so, that, so, isn't that the shades of like uh, the yeah. Algerian Revolution? Isn't that what the Algerians did to the French? The, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, certainly, certainly, yeah. It's like a they reverse. Are, they like are, a reverse. They are, you know, no, certainly. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Continue yeah, yeah, with the story. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Well, I did mean to interrupt you, but I mean, uh, continue, please. Okay. Uh, uh, Sloan, let me just tell them because they're waiting for me for, for dinner. I'll just tell them I'll be another few minutes. Yeah. Uh, guys, just go ahead. Yeah? yeah, I'll join you just now. Sorry. Oh, I, yeah? I forget the so, time. There's no. The so way, then, I forget the time difference, but go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then what happened is. Uh, they, uh, they, 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 so that battle uh, somehow changed. It was interesting because those battles, that especially those uh, last couple of battles, there was a spy that the indigenous people had who was part because the, 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 the settlers also had auxiliary forces amongst the refugees uh, mm. uh, called Amamfengu, you know, and, and in English they, they corrupted to Fingos. So the Amam family, they were like uh, uh, basically refugees who had come among Samakosa and the Koi um, coming from further north. And mm. they'd, they'd been accepted and incorporated in the community. So they use the difference, you know, the fact that you are different, you're newly arrived and what. They used and exploited that and then got them as their allies. They had some allies amongst the Koi. Uh, then one of those allies... Uh, crossed the lines and he he, he 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 was a spy basically for the for the the, the resistors mm -hmm. and he went over and he briefed them and then he came he conspired with them and came to the british to tell them that they were going to attack at a certain point in the meantime he was waylay, waylaying them mm. and uh, so when they attacked they they attacked uh, from a different flank and that war they, they were successful. They nearly overran the British. But then the reprisals after that were reinforcements from the Cape uh, because the, the administration was based in Cape Town, the, the headquarters. So they reinforced and then they, uh, they brought even more soldiers from England. Mm -hmm. and, and eventually they, they overran the, the Amakos. And then that's where they, they use, you know, scotch as policy. They destroy everything, the fields, children, livestock, and in no time, you know, the community was like struggling because it was like basically subdued through hunger. Mm. And then they decided to, that's when the, the, the leader, who, who, who was after whom this town is named, now Makanda, decided mm. to offer himself because he realized that everybody's been punished and starving. And so he offered himself like a true leader, you know, he, he mm. volunteered, said, look, I'm offering myself, you imprison me, and but reprieve the people of this uh, slaughter that you are carrying out. And, and then they took and, the and, in. And that, was Makanda, the and, and, and that was Makanda, who, who, yeah. who, who, the, who the town is now named after. That's correct, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. we, we, we so can they, almost they, wrap it up. I don't they, want you to starve here. I want you to wrap it up. Just, just, just so, so, so Makanda, yeah. not, not Makanda, is he the one that, they, that, that was, that was at, at, the, uh, at Robin Island? Yeah, yeah. The one that he, he was part of the escape group and he drowned mm. whilst escaping. Yeah, mm. that's mm. the one. Yeah. So what happened is that one, when he was in now, his uh, his counselors, a group of them, gathered together and they felt that no, no, we go, we cannot uh, leave uh, our uh, uh, leader. He was a man of medicine, highly respected. Uh, we, a revolutionary and everything. So they went over to the British to hand themselves over so that he can be released and he can he can go, I mean, come to the community. And then and then there's an encounter, a beautiful encounter, which is captured by one of the colonial uh, chaplains or so of the, uh, uh, the settlers, yeah, uh, of, of them uh, making the case in front of the British and, and arguing that the war that the British had visited upon them is an unjust war. It was a, a war, you know, to, to basically steal their land. And they argued there. It's like a powerful statement, man. So the men uh, captured it verbatim, and it was translated then to, because it had to be translated then, 
and uh, so they, they yeah mm. so but, but so but yeah. how i can i can yeah no no go ahead go ahead i'm sorry no i was going to say i could i could take the story on if you gave me let's say about another hour i don't know you know and, <laughs> no, no, and no. i would still be available <laughs> no no I'm, yeah. so, I'm sorry i just want yeah. this was like a test you know what i mean i do want to talk to you at another time and, and I, now you got to eat and i'm not gonna i'm yeah, not yeah. gonna stop i can't stop an african from eating you know what i'm saying <laughs> especially in the eastern cape yeah, no, no, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> exactly exactly no, no. given this history that i've just uh, described <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So, Shepi, sure, so, Shepi, this was just a test. I might put it up. Yeah. I might not. Uh, let, let me just say this. So, so now the, yeah. the, the town, the, 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 just recently, the last couple of years, they renamed the town for that, for that, for that, for that king, for 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 for, for Makanda, right? That's that's correct. Okay. That's correct. Yeah, that's correct. So, so, so now yeah. instead of Grahamstown, yeah. named that. Now, did they rename Rhodes University? <laughs> No, no, not yet, not yet, yeah. Not I, yet, yeah, I guess yeah, that's next. Yeah. Okay, well, listen, Shepi, you, know, you get yeah, to eating. Yeah, yeah. Dave, thank you very much for this, for this, for this okay. time. Uh, now I'll, I'll give you a fair warning next time. This was just a test. I didn't want to talk this much to you. I, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll do it another time. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so very much. You know, enjoy okay. your meal. Well, wait, 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 wait a second. What are you eating? Hey, I want to know okay. what you're eating. What, what are you eating? Uh, I have no idea. I think. Uh, uh, Comrade Roby had, uh, had cooked some some meal, uh, uh, hectic meal, yeah. Oh. I, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it's chicken and, yeah, and stuff, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah. All right. Enjoy. Thanks so much. I'll talk to okay. you another time. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Okay. All right. Okay. Cheers. Bye-bye.